everyone, it's Lynette. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Life in Australia. So it's December and it's my personal favorite month. And you guessed it. So this episode is gonna be all about Christmas in Melbourne. And when you think about Christmas, you think about snowfalls, you know, sitting together with your family at a fireplace, having hot chocolates and just the usual winter stuff. But that's not what you're gonna get on this episode. I'm sitting with here on a 30 degree summer day with my cold drink because Australia is one of the very few countries who's got Christmas in summer instead of winter. But that's fine. We do our own crazy fun things to make Christmas as special as we can do. So in today's episode, I'm going to take you to a tour to Melbourne's most iconic places and what Melbourne's got to offer to make this post-COVID Christmas as special as it can be. Stay tuned. Oh yum, that's really good. What we're gonna do is wait for the sunset. And right now the time is 7.48 p.m. And look how bright it is. Can you, can you even believe it's at night right now? Um, so according to the weather, the sunset is gonna be at 8, 8.30. So we have to wait until then to see Melbourne light up. Until then we can sip on a few drinks and have some snacks and get ready for it. All right, guys, so it's very close to the sunset time. But as I mentioned before, it's not going to be like a cliche Christmas, you know, where the winter stuff, the snow and things going to happen. But I'm going to show you how Melbourne has changed its whole outlook in preparation for Christmas. As you probably can see behind me, there's already a massive Christmas tree. I'm sitting in the Melbourne Central. It's a um, QV uh, shopping centre. Um, and I'm having a snack and a, and a bit of drinks before the sunset happens. Um, just for a brief uh, outlook for today's plan, I'm going to take you to the Melbourne projections where um, iconic buildings in Melbourne have light projections on them with their Christmas theme. It's going to be really fun to watch. Um, it also always happens during um, main special events, but this is going to be special because it's Christmas and there are projections that's dedicated to the COVID-19 heroes, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. And along the way, we're going to stop in Maya Melbourne, where they have the iconic um, the window gallery. I'm hoping there's not going to be a lot of queue because there's always a massive lineup in front of them. Um, and it's the 65th year they're doing it, so I'm so, so, so keen to see what they have on stock to, uh, this time. And lastly, we're going to stop at the Federation Square, where I've got a massive surprise for you. I'm so excited for it. Um, so we can just have finish our snacks, wait for that sunset so Melbourne can actually light up. So excited. Let's wait for it. Okay guys, so the sun's down. That means we're going to our first location, which is the State Library. It's located in Melbourne Central, which is where you can see a lot of students around here. Um, Melbourne Central State Library, it's actually one of the oldest, it is actually the oldest library in Australia and is the um, first, actually the third first um, libraries free in the world, if that makes sense. Um, so let's go, we can go and see the projection at the State Library. Okay guys, I'm right in front of the State Library in Melbourne Central, one of the oldest state libraries in Australia. And as you can see, it's not how it normally is. It's so, so beautiful. Everything is so Christmas themed. And it also even have the videos um, commenting on the COVID-19 heroes, all the healthcare workers who actually helped 
get through the whole difficult COVID stage, appreciating all their efforts. And this is such a beautiful way to show that appreciation. And this is definitely a place you can bring um, your family, your kids, your kids will 100% enjoy this. It's so easy to get off this train station and just walk a bit, um, a must see place. This is obviously not how it is normally. It's still a historic place. Um, it has a very massive the reading, reading room. One day we might do an episode to show you that, but this is iconic. This, the, the amount of work that's been done. There's different boxes here displaying all the uh, projections on here. Um, if you're around here, must see this, this is gonna go until December, until the Christmas day. All right guys, so we were on our way to our second location after the State Library, but I had to stop at this really cute plant shop. Um, they've got like little small pots and glass um, where you can, you can grow these tiny, tiny plants, take home. And Melbourne has got so many local shops like this where you can buy like locally owned um, products. And this is so adorable, you have these ears. I love this, it's so cute. Look at that. So adorable. <gasps> These are fridge magnets. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That was so, so, so cool. I really wanted to buy them, but then I just don't have enough room and I have to carry it to the next destination. So I didn't buy it. So I'm definitely coming back. Then look at that. It's so cute. Even the shop is really, really cute. Um, and I already know so many people who love that. <laughs> I must come there <laughs> okay honestly Melbourne is so full of surprises we were just walking and we found this really really cute alleyway um, it's got these LED displays on top it's like showing different images new New Year's fireworks etc etc it's so adorable you know you just you just walk into any corner and you see something that you'll enjoy I am at the next stop this is Berg Street. Honestly, this place reminds me of like New York Times Square. It's got all the big buildings. And look at that, it's already decorated for Christmas. This is so cute. Um, careful cameraman, because there's a tram <laughs> line. <laughs> and our next stop is actually to Maya, which is, which is like a shopping franchise. Um, they usually do these window displays of Christmas decorations and this is the 65th year, year they're doing this so I am really excited to see and every year is different every year they come up with new new ideas to um, display new attractions so I'm really really keen to see what they've got on stock this year oh my god I already see a massive line I hope it's not for the display but let's go, let's go line up and get it, get it on camera. Let's go guys. Okay, so if you can see ahead, there is a large huge line but I'm determined guys I'm gonna stay I'm gonna wait until I can see those displays let's get it okay we were just gonna wait and then the security told us that this is the first stop where we see this display and it's got like a countdown for Christmas days oh we are on the 13th so that that's them. so every day I think they open and see what it what's inside so tomorrow they will open that 14 and then 24th and then what's gonna happen on the 25th I don't know but well, this is really cool so they probably start on the 1st of the December this is nice so every year at Maya display they always show a story and this time it's showing how Melbourne recovered from the global pandemic second wave. It's showing the journey 
reminded of how every Melbourneians were in that struggle together. And then we, we were locked in in our houses. We didn't even think we could celebrate this Christmas, but this just like is showing that slow journey of how we started and now where we are. Next window is showing the story at the Santa, Santa Claus um, place where the elves usually work. Yeah, that's a Sanders workshop and the elves, they're also wearing masks. And Sanders is reading all the news that's happening around the world. And everyone's thinking Christmas is not going to happen. Yeah. Next location. And I'm waiting for the signal. I think there's a new stuff. It's red to say to stop and wait. And oh, it's green. Let's go, let's go. What color? That was cool. Okay, next location is Melbourne Town Hall. Now this is also one of the historic places. Um, this is where a lot of major events happen in Melbourne. Um, when Beatles came to Melbourne, this is where they actually greeted all their um, loving fans. And like we saw in the State Library, they also have those projections with Christmas themed lightings. Let's go see. So that was our second Melbourne projection and now, no actually wait, yeah the second one. Now we've got the Princess Bridge left and a big big surprise I can't wait to show you guys. Let's walk that way, this is the Swanson Street so walk straight to Flinders Street. That's where the next stop is. Let's go. Guys, we are at the Princess Bridge. So this bridge is also one of the oldest bridge in the city. Um, it connects the Swanson Streets and the St. Gilbert Road. We're here because already it's such a beautiful view of Melbourne over here. And then uh, for Christmas special, we've got a chimpanzee just about that area. And we're just gonna go and check that out. What's that about? And just standing here, this is a very iconic area because just because of this location, um, a lot of main events actually happen here, um, like the New Year's, New Year's Eve festivals, the Mumbai festival. This is a focus point for all of those festivals too. So let's go and see what that chimpanzee is doing up there and see um, what's, what's special about that one. All right, so there was a QR code just there, so I scanned it and I realized that this is not just any chimpanzees. This is an um, art called David Greybeard by artist Lisa Roy. So this sculpture is actually lightweight. You might think it's super heavy, but it's not. And it's actually deflated when the wind is more than 40 kilometers per hour. Um, and the reason for this sculpture is to represent the the relationship between humans and and the nature and the um, and the social the social changes and issues currently occurring in the world. It's a very nice gesture, honestly. We also saw the um, uh, the appreciation to COVID heroes at the State Library, and now we have a human animal relationship gesture here too. It's quite nice. It's not just any Christmas celebration. We're also <laughs> focusing on real world issues and addressing that too. 
Oh, if you look closely, the hand is actually moving because you can see it's lightweight. Okay, we saw the sculpture there. Now we're going to the third Melbourne projection, which is the Princess Bridge, and we can see the Christmas themed artwork over there. Let's go. We are here guys, the final destination, much awaited place, as promised, here is your big surprise. We are at the Federation Square, the heart of Melbourne City. You come here, you can catch a tram, you can catch a train, you get off here and here is the Winter Wonderland. Um, you can come here from now to this is going to be here until the 25th of december the christmas day so make sure you come with your family be here um and you know see the spectacular artworks this is awesome I, I don't even know how they bring that big thing over here and like you know have that whole setup but this is so amazing i'm so happy to be here honestly <laughs> And all your Instagram lovers, this is a great spot to take Instagram photos. This, the lighting is perfect. Look at that, this is so cute. It's got like so many lights. And I love these warm lights. This is such a perfect, cute little couple spot to take photos. It's so nice. And it's like a Christmas, you know, the bell we put on the Christmas tree, it's so nice. And it's got that, and there's got two more over there. And oh, oh, there's a Christmas gift box. There's way too many school stuff here that you shouldn't miss. Please, please, I'm telling you, you have to bring your families here. You have to bring your kids. There's so many kids already here. It's such a perfect spot to, you know, have that small getaway when you can't really go to many places right now. It's, um, it's a really nice place to, you know, start off your Christmas spirits. Guys, I've got a bonus surprise for you. We've got a sky castle behind me and I thought this was gone a few days ago but it's actually there until the 22nd of December and the interesting thing is they look like a rainbow which is representing that after every storm there is a rainbow and we've been through so much and that's a rainbow after that bloody long hard few months. Let's go inside and some have some fun. There's music, there is this the sounds coming off like really calming sound and the colors are changing. This is so cool. Alright guys, that's a wrap and that was that was a really really good experience, wasn't it? Um, I was able to show you all around Melbourne all the crazy things that Melbourne was putting up for Christmas after after a crazy few months it's so so good to see all these you know colorful things and Christmas is back alive we never thought that we could you know celebrate Christmas like normal when you when you see all these people it's like nothing even happened we did that together and this is awesome guys um, and all these most of these displays are actually there until Christmas Day so make sure you bring your friends your families your loved ones to have a really good time in Melbourne forget all the bad things you know fresh start next year is gonna be awesome let's do it together signing off Lynette from M4TV Life in Australia <laughs>